When you think about making an impact through football, what images come to mind? Was it something like this? Or was it more like this? American Football Events Team USA shows how they use football to do both, making an impact on and off the field. Truly our organization is built around our, our life model that we started. Only one way to do it, and that's what? Together. And, and we instilled that from, from the very start to the end. And you gotta have that impact of that character of having that togetherness and that unified connection. And we do it through our organization of being fundamental, being disciplined, being structured, and giving these players something that they think is their next level. Each one of our events, we're gonna start a series, a character building series. And for this event, it's impact. And not just an impact on yourself, but an impact within the community or within somebody else. It's a ministry. It's not just a business. It's not just a job. It's not just an organization. It's a ministry. We're touching people's lives on the field, off the field, because of that brotherhood, that sisterhood, that unified connection that they're making. And, and we, we continue to reiterate only one way, together. And hey, right here, together on three. One, two, three, together. We're all, we all athletes. And we all come from different parts of the world. So when we come together and we become a strong team, a strong unit, that's the thing right there to me that's a blessing because each and everybody is talented and they're and gifted in their own way. This is a family and I love being here. I can't wait to come here to spend time with the guys. It brought me back to the game and it actually made me fall in love with the game. Um, AFE, when I first came into it in July, I didn't know what to expect. Um, it's had a great impact on my life. Like I talked to AFE with, uh, with my family, friends, you know, and I want all of them to, to know how much it has impacted my life. Um, in such a positive way. I started my own football league, um, the Texas Girls Tackle Football League. And um, as soon as I told Coach G about it, you know, like he, he jumped right on board like, and completely supportive because he too had to start his own uh, nonprofit organization. So he understood you know, the, the road I was about to take. So he's been 100% supportive for that. And the, actually the entire AFE family. How can I be the example that they need to better themselves? Not just with the skills that we do on the field or, or better in their game, but better in their life. It's amazing to see how the bonds created in such a short time are so strong, which is truly a testament to the AFE's impact and their emphasis on unity and togetherness. Once you come to one AFE event, you are family. To the coaches, to the players, to anybody that has played with AFE before you, after you, it's all a family. In a matter of days, like, you know, like I said, it, it, saying it out loud, it sounds crazy because we're, a lot of us are complete strangers and we come here and we're bonded by football, but then it's not even just football. A lot of us sit down and we share meals together, share stories together. It feels like some of these women that I've known for years, it feel like it feels like they're family members, and this is only my second AFE event. But you know, I feel like uh, these friendships, this, this sisterhood, is going to last a lifetime. To make an impact, you got to be an impact, and that was one of the things that we're trying to make sure that we give to these players, but more so be able to give to the community. One of the reasons that the AFE is unique from other football organizations is their dedication and commitment to giving back to the communities that they visit. The CRIT is a Children's Rehabilitation Institute technology, which is based in Mexico. 
There are 24 locations in Mexico and only one located in the United States, which happens to be in San Antonio, Texas. You know, being a nonprofit public charity, the whole program is designed to provide a platform using football, but to give back to the community and build that character. That's what the true impact is of AFA. And here we are at an event during Christmas, and we all wore a, a Christmas hat, a Santa hat. And having Santa actually there with us to walk the halls, to see the children, it, it was breathtaking. It was very emotional for us as a staff, but also the children to be able to see the joy that we were able to put on their faces. And, you know, having a great staff member like Billy, Billy Avalos, who was able to play Santa Claus, but is fluent in Spanish, to have that connection directly with the children was amazing. I'm just lucky to be a part of it, blessed. Even with crit and the special needs, it's, it's near and dear to my heart. I've been a, a special education teacher. I've worked uh, you know, in disability homes. Like I understand the impact that we're making on their lives, but you know, they make such an impact on ours also. I've been really focused on the X and O part uh, and where Dale has given an, almost an equal focus to the community service as to the actual playing of a game. It's very heartwarming to, to do that. You, you see that you're helping somebody and at the same time, it winds up being beneficial to you as well. That type of experience is eye-opening, more so pertaining to the crit, just because there's a struggle that they are dealing with every day. And you don't understand it unless you have a family member who's going through it or has been through it or you experience in your own life. It, it made me be more appreciative of the ability to use my limbs. Some of these kids that we got to speak with and, and spend time with were, spent months and years learning to do these things to us that are that we see, you know, everyday activities that are simple, but to them, they're tasks. And when they reach those tasks, like it, it's a huge milestone. So that really just made me appreciate everything that I have been given and blessed with. And I just, I'm thankful for it. We're, we're role models, you know, every day when you have your role models, you go out there and you just put a smile on the kids' faces and you're making a difference. I call it doing God's work, you know, and when you're able to go out there and spend the time with the children and learn, it makes you appreciate life because oftentimes we can take life for granted, but it makes you want to do more. All that we do, we do from the heart and because we care and the children are our future. Here in Mexico, they're in two different organizations. There are over 3,600 children playing youth American football within two organizations. That's a lot of kids. But when they come out there, they're seeing USA. You know, they put us on a plateau that they want your autograph. They want you to teach them. They want you to show them those fundamentals or maybe the right steps that they haven't been taking. And for the players, it's huge because they feel like, you know, they are at the next level or they are their hero when they do that. So it's given the children an impact, but it's given us an impact as well. Working with the kids at the camps, I mean, they look up to us, they absolutely love us. And to be able to teach them everything that I've learned over these years and just give back to the community is, is all I need. Um, the kids come there and they see us as superheroes, role models, and to them we're experts of the game. They see us in our uniforms, they see the same Team USA across the front of it, and they want to learn more from us. And so that causes us to pull from the experiences that we've had and what we've learned here as well, from the different coaches that they've pulled all around the world. Then going over to the kids camp, you, you have people who are aspiring football players and or they're just interested in the sport but they don't really know how to get involved or where they may fit and so you walk over with a huge smile on your face and you're like hey come in my group I can show you 
and then you go through the drill with them and then they are smiling and laughing and high-fiving and and it's great and then we're also in another country so then there's the language barrier but that didn't matter to us we normally obviously we stretch and we count you know in in english numbers so we instead we to make them feel a little bit more comfortable we started counting in spanish they're amazing they're eager, eager to learn uh, they try their best to communicate the best way we can we've implemented coach g's uh, first three steps of the impact and we're trying to remember names and faces and try and connect with them so that they understand that we respect them for just being out here and we want to make them better so they can make us better. This is what we do as professional athletes and we show the kids this is what our drills are. I'm a lineman so when I demonstrate this is what we do as linemen our drills they're like wow that's fun you know and we're able to share what we do with these children. And, and it's just an awesome feeling. It's an awesome feeling to give back overall. The AFE's coaching staff is comprised of Hall of Fame male and female coaches that have decades of experience, which gives the players the unique opportunity to work with a number of different coaches during the same event. I think one of the things that benefits the AFE with the program of the football on the field is the structure of our staff, the unification of our staff. A lot of military veterans that understand the discipline, understand the structure of being organized. We have several Hall of Fame coaches that have been players that are now transitioning to coaches. You're going to get the best of the best. And a lot of our players say, I've never had that kind of coaching. And you're talking about in an eight to 10 hour period to get that kind of input and structure. On the women's side, it's been an open opportunity for a lot of our staff that haven't worked with a women's program to see the transition to be able to teach them not just fundamentals, but X's and O's and schemes of different plays and different defensive schemes. We have theoretically all-star players, top level players uh, here in uh, Cancun for, for this Caribbean Bowl. These are guys who played a lot of ball and go up and be able to tell them there's something more that you can do. I know you're capable of doing it, but you don't automatically do it. So I know that they walk away with this. On the field, it's definitely made me a better player. You know, I'm training harder, I'm studying more on film, I'm paying attention to detail more. Because definitely with AFE, you know, like it's, it's a grown woman's league. Like, like you have to, uh, you have to be willing to accept the criticism, you know, and there's definitely no slacking with AFE on the field. <laughs> um, I, when I started off here with, with um, AFE Team USA, I was uh, a running back. That was my position. That's what I was doing in my first event. Coach um, Stith so was like, come over here to defense. We need somebody on defense. And that's my first time meeting Coach Burns. His intensity his love for the game, his knowledge of the game. Like, I, I wanted to soak it up like a sponge. I wanted more. It was a very different experience from playing back on my home team. And I think what's different about it is that you come in from all over the country and you have two days to get this stuff right. It's different personalities and different um, coaching styles, different ways of how they learn the game, just in general. So what they've learned gets transferred over to me and practice and games and team meetings. And even if it's one or two things we practice, I can take that back to my home team. It makes me that much better, that much quicker. And so when you put all that together, that's what makes you a complete player. It makes me want to be better, of course, you know. It makes me want to be better. It makes me want to step up my A game, you know, because all the, everyone here is talented in their own way. So, it, it opens the door to bring something else to the table. It's just a blessing. That's just the overall words can't express just how I'm feeling right now, just being here and, and about to participate in one of the biggest games ever, you know?
it's a touchdown. AFB. Oh, the quarterback turns. She tosses it. She throws it to Frenchie. Down. Looks like he punched it in for the two point conversion. It's in. Kickbacks. They run to the right. Scrambling. Look at the throw. Oh, that's, that's intercepted. That is intercepted now. Ball tight. He's looking. Comes up. He throws it. It's caught by number seven. He's running. And it is a touchdown, ladies and gentlemen. Touchdown. All blacks are running on down to the other side. See if they can get us. But oh, he's tackled down right at the 20 yard line. sure that you know like this program is it's, it's a one you know top notch so I, I think that more people need to continue to send invites to try and get invited here because the, the sky is the limit what this organization is based on and and the principles of this organization there's too much of us not spending time with one another taking lives for granted um, this organization really encapsulate the idea of love. Love is through communication. Love is through touch. Love is through just someone caring about someone else. And that is truly what this organization is about. It's just going to keep growing. More more women are going to see what we're doing. They're going to want to come to the events. Um, they're going to they're want to be a part of it. And it's just going to keep growing because what they're doing is not about them. It's truly about giving us a platform. Like Coach says it all the time, he's providing us a platform to showcase our skills and talents. And I truly believe that. I mean, it's it's truly about giving us opportunities to impact on the field, off the field. Our program is impacting so many lives, not just on the field, but off the field, that is going to continue to grow. It's going to continue to change people's lives that other people is gonna want a part of that change.